Alright guys, so in this video we're going to take a look at the remote control tab. So it's located under the camera tab and then you click on remote control. We'll go through each of these settings. So we'll start here at the top, you'll see where it says camera. So you could choose from your list of cameras that are active and you could choose like behind the barn, change settings from that camera and then back to the blind, change settings there. And uh, let's go through each one of these settings and I'll tell you what they do. So here in the camera mode setting you can change between photo and video. Um, I know this camera at the blind is a Wise Eye Smart Cam, it's not the Mini, so it does have the video feature, and that's why you can change that to video if you'd like. The default setting is photo, so we'll leave that there. So next is the delay setting. So the delay is how long your camera will wait before taking another picture. If you set this to one minute, like mine is here, it'll take a picture and wait a minute before taking another picture, as long as there's motion there, of course. Just keep in mind, on a cellular camera, there's always a natural delay, so as it takes a picture, it needs to send that picture to you. And so it could take up, you know, to 10 seconds to two minutes to send that picture, depending on your cell strength. Um, just keep that in mind when setting your delay. So if you set it for like five seconds, sometimes it will take up to a minute to send that picture. And so it won't look too accurate, but this is more or less if you're trying to set more like a five minute delay um, that really comes into effect here. The next one is picture size, and this is the picture quality of the camera so you can go 12 megapixel 8 megapixel 5 is the default setting and this is what's saved to the SD card and not what is sent to you so keep that in mind because the picture size that is sent to you is not changeable so this setting only changes the picture quality that is on the SD card the next setting is called cellular mode and this one's the most confusing for everybody so let me clarify some things when you set your camera to instant mode it is not when the pictures are sent to you. This setting is for whenever your camera checks in and looks for remote setting changes. For instance, if your camera is out in the field and you make a change to your delay, that change will be made instantly. If your camera is set to daily and you make a remote setting change, such as the burst mode, that change will be made usually at midnight because that's when your camera will check in to the server. So this is not when your pictures are sent to you. No matter what, your pictures are sent instantly and this setting will kill your battery if you leave it in instant mode. I highly recommend using an external power source if you're gonna run your camera in the instant mode. Otherwise, keep it in the default setting of daily and you'll see much better battery life. Here on the right, you'll see burst mode. So you can change this setting to take between one, two, or three pictures in a row. So if you have it on three, it'll take three pictures, you know, one second apart, and then they'll send to you. Um, keep in mind, the more pictures you select, such as three, it will take longer to send those three pictures. So next is the time lapse feature. And so this feature is only available for the smart cam and not the mini. So what time lapse is, is you can set your camera up to take a picture ever so often. So in this case, it's 10 minutes. So every 10 minutes, this camera will take a picture. And a lot of people use this for field activity. So if there's um, a big field that may have deer just out of the motion sensor range, you can set this camera to take pictures every 10 minutes so you can kind of look at the rest of the field and see what else is out there. You know, if no motion is setting the camera off. Um, you could use this for multiple other reasons, but there's that feature and you can change that here on the remote tab. Lastly, we have the motion sensitivity. So in this case, you have low, middle, or high, and high being the default. Um, so in this case, if you set your camera out and you're getting way too many pictures of a limb blowing, grass blowing, you could change that sensitivity down to medium if it's on high or low. I would suggest leaving it on high if you're not having any issues. After making any changes within this remote, be sure to click save when you are done. So there's a few features or setting changes you can make on the mini that is not available for the smart cam. So let's go over there. Um, the behind the barn cam is a mini, so let's take a look at it. So you'll see right here the motion sensitivity is different than the big camera. So you can actually change between a number system, 1 through 9. The default is 5, and I suggest leaving it at 5 unless you're having some problems with leaves or something. You can change it down, or if you don't think you're picking up smaller animals and you want to, you can change that back up to like 9 or whatever. So lastly, we have the camera name. So this is the name that will appear on the timestamp of the photo, not the name that is within hunt control. So every photo that this camera takes will have the timestamp behind the barn 
on it. Um, you could toggle that on or off right here. And this is a feature available just for the Mini right now. Be sure to hit save when you are done. And that concludes everything in the remote control tab. If you have any questions, please let us know.